Hey everyone, River here with Dark Arrow. We're back here in the shop making progress on the Dark Arrow 1. We've got a lot of projects going on this month, so let's check them out. I have the aileron controls installed right now, uh, just temporarily, but the big deal with this is that I can move the ailerons together for the first time. So I'm just actuating this push rod in the back of the aircraft that connects the left and right aileron. So they move in opposite directions to provide roll control for the aircraft. And one interesting thing about the aileron deflection is that they move at differential rates, so they uh, actually move up more than they can move down. I don't know if I can show that, but maybe you can kind of eyeball it. The aileron that's down right now, uh, it's deflected down more than the other aileron that's up. So keep in mind the aircraft is inverted. The idea with the differential deflection is that we're trying to compensate for adverse yaw a little bit. So the idea there is that the aileron that's up creates a little bit more drag than the aileron that's down and helps turn the airplane to the inside of the turn uh, in the yaw component a little bit. So it's just uh, fitted up right now temporarily with uh, temporary fasteners. I don't have all the nuts and bolts tightened up, so that's why there's a little bit of uh, noise here as I actuate it, but I think you get the idea. One other thing you'll notice, of course, is that the flaps are attached. I don't know that we've shown that in any videos yet, but uh, yeah, split flaps, and you can kind of see them deflected. Also kind of interesting to see. Today we're laying out the wiring for the Dark Arrow 1. And the way we're doing that is we've created a map a uh, one-to-one -one scale map of the aircraft here on the side of our oven. It's kind of hard to tell, but this would be the front of the aircraft where you have the firewall, you have your baggage area here, and then over here you have the rear of the aircraft where you have your aft electronics plate. As an example, you can see we have a wiring run already started here where this starts at the instrument panel, runs through the baggage tunnel to the firewall at the front of the aircraft, runs along the sidewall, all the way back to the rear of the aircraft where you have your aft electronics plate. The whole point of this is that you wanna be able to map your wiring out and bundle it together and get it all ready to go without having to work in the environment of the aircraft itself. As we keep adding wires to this bundle, we'll have something that we can drop into the aircraft. We've always got a lot of projects going on in the background around here. Uh, this is one of those. We've got a big stack of tooling board here. We're soon to turn this into a new plug for the canopy, and we're gonna be using that plug to make a mold. For those of you who don't know, we're working with a company called Airplane Plastics in Ohio to make the canopy for the Dark Arrow One. Riley was actually down in Ohio recently. He picked up the tooling board and met with the, um, the Airplane Plastics team. Uh, while he was on his trip, he actually filmed and vlogged some of it. And we have an announcement coming out soon about that behind the scenes footage, but we'll save that for a later time. This is kind of exciting. We just got this in the mail last night. This is one of the stick grips for the control system. Uh, this is from Tostin, and the unit we chose for the prototype just has three or four buttons on it, depending on how you want to count them. So there's a trigger, which we're gonna use for push to talk, and there's another little button here, which we're gonna use for autopilot disconnect. And then this hat switch on the top of the stick, we're gonna use for uh, pitch and roll trim. So it can do pitch trim, forward and aft, and then roll trim left and right. And then the stick is going to fit up like this on the armrest. A lot of people have asked whether they're going to be 
center sticks or side sticks or a control yoke in the Dark Arrow one. It's gonna be side stick standard. And then we picked that configuration for the controls because there's some ergonomic benefits, uh, specifically on cross country flying. And since this is a cross country mission aircraft, we chose side sticks. Um, so it sits like this, uh, canted inward just a little bit, and that's to give it enough clearance so that when you roll the stick outward, you're not hitting the sidewall of the airframe. So that's kind of the neutral position about like that. And then stick motion's kind of like this. That's the control stick grip. Okay guys, check this out. I've got the wiring harness now to a near complete state. There are a few more wires I need to put in, but essentially it's done at this point. It's pretty ugly, uh, as you can see with all the zip ties here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean this up and replace them with wire lacing. For those that don't know, wire lacing is a high temperature aircraft rated string that you use to tie loops around uh, your wire bundle. Same thing that a zip tie does. But uh, what we like about the wire lacing is that it's less abrasive against your wiring under vibration conditions. So uh, we'll be using wire lacing and not zip ties for the final design. After we get the wire lacing installed, we'll have essentially a complete harness, but we'll need to install wire holding inside the airframe before we drop it in so that the harness is secure inside the airframe. All right, guys, hope you like the update. That's it for this video. We're gonna have more content coming in the month of August, so stay tuned for that. But otherwise, we'll see you in the next one.